Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ginger Newts and in today's video we're going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial video, so a little bit different than normal. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a proper desert housing scheme that you could repeat and change and shape it yourself, but it'll be architecturally correct. So we're going to play around with it and yeah, I'm going to shoot off into a time lapse a little bit and I will keep you guys updated.
So let's just quickly talk about how I structured this design. So you'll see that there's a lot of these almost like pergola type things happening on the north and east and a little bit on the west as well. Um, that's just because of the sunlight, right? So the actual design is meant to be kept cool inside because we're in a desert. Shocker. <laughs> Um, and yeah, so you enter the space through this almost like little passageway type thing. It's pretty cool. I quite like that. Like almost like having a rib of wood over there. And then you walk in over here on the left and there is a lounge set up. Very nice and cozy. And one quick word from our self from the future. I haven't brought this up in the video just yet, but if you are not subscribed, please make sure that you're subscribed from this graph up there. You can see that only 69% of you guys are actually subscribed and it would make me really, really happy if you guys subscribed and maybe even like the video if you enjoyed this so far. And leave a comment down below of what you guys think of the design. I really would love your criticism on this matter. But anyways, let's get back to the tour. Wow, thanks. Thanks, future Liam. So... And then when we walk through the space, so I, I didn't, I chose not to have any windows just because I felt as though the space would probably be hot enough and we're already raised about three blocks off of the ground. So nothing can really get in here except spiders maybe. But if you light up around the base and if you do some landscaping around here, uh, that shouldn't be much of a problem. I didn't do any landscaping in this video. So if you guys want me to carry on with this uh, build and do the landscape around it, show you guys how I would do the landscape. And just let me know. And when we go through over here from the right of the entrance, we have a little kitchen. And it's just a very basic little kitchen. So it's just very mediocre. A little bit of storage, a couple of furnaces, and a smoker. Just so we can get a little bit of a vibe happening. And I really like the way that chimney works. God, it's cool. Then if we head upstairs, we have the bedroom on the right, on the left, sorry, yet again. And this bedroom is actually really, really cool because not only have we got a single bed, so there's a bachelor pad, we've also got a bunch of storage and a walk-in closet. So if you're ever looking to store your stuff, just do it in there. And you also get these amazing views. I can only imagine in a normal survival world, the views that you would get. And finally, as we walk out here, we have the veranda decking. And the idea behind this is that it's been toasting out here in the sun a little bit. So the wood is a little bit more toasty. And we've also got these beautiful trees just to break the monotony of the space up here. And we've got this beautiful setup. I love the use of these candles. These candles are really, really awesome. Along with this little water well, very common in... Uh, Middle Eastern designs to have some kind of water source either on the roof or around centralized around buildings. I chose to put it on the roof, however, and I really love the way that that covering actually just like drapes over in a way. And there's no way to access up here. I'm sure you guys could come up with your own access design. So I didn't really focus on doing anything up here because you're not going to be up here unless you're in survival and you desperately need more space. Here is more space for you. So. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that's going to be it for my video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. and I do appreciate it if you guys made it this far into the video. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!